In this video, I'll show you how to become a liquidity provider on the JunoSwap decentralized exchange. So let's get right into it and let the gains be with you. Welcome to Crypto Empire. My name is Connor and this is where we dominate the crypto markets. If you are new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss any future videos. Now, JunoSwap is the decentralized exchange on the Juno network, supporting CW20 assets. Juno is a layer one network within the Cosmos ecosystem. I did just make a full video all about Juno, elaborating on exactly what it is. I encourage you to watch that video to learn what Juno is if you don't already know. Now, JunoSwap is very similar to something like Osmosis, which is another main decentralized exchange. However, it is on the Osmosis chain. This is on the Juno network. Now, there will be an airdrop for JunoSwap liquidity providers. However, the snapshot was just taken on February 13th for the JunoSwap liquidity providers, as well as the Osmosis liquidity providers as well. So there was a snapshot, as we can see here, this is the JunoSwap official Twitter account. The first snapshot was taken on February 7th, and this is for Juno and Adam Stakers. And then the second snapshot was taken on February 13th, so a few days ago now. And this is for JunoSwap and Osmosis liquidity providers. So the airdrop snapshot was already taken. However, I still think it will be highly lucrative to be an LP liquidity provider on the JunoSwap decentralized exchange. So yes, the snapshot for the airdrop has passed. However, I still think it will be a good play going forward to LP on JunoSwap. This is not financial advice. I'm just telling you what I think will play out. So let's get into how to provide liquidity on the JunoSwap DEX. The first thing you will need is Juno coins. The only way to get these is on the Osmosis decentralized exchange. As we can see right here on CoinGecko, the only pairs are on Osmosis. So I will show you very briefly how to get your hands on Juno right now. First things first, you will need an IBC enabled wallet. Kepler wallet is what I use. I show you how to set up Kepler wallet from start to finish in my Cosmos Atom staking tutorial. However, it's very simple to set up. You simply install it to your Chrome or Brave browser, whatever browser you do use. You make your account name, a password, and you'll get your 24 word seed phrase. You never share that seed phrase with anybody. You keep that in a very safe place offline off your computer and you're good to go on the Kepler wallet. Now, once your Kepler wallet is set up, you're gonna to wanna to head over to Osmosis. Now, once you're on Osmosis, and most likely you will send in Cosmos Atom coins to your Kepler wallet in order to buy Juno. So once you're on Osmosis, the way to get the Atom out from your Kepler wallet into your Osmosis wallet is to come on over here to the left side of the screen where it says Assets. You click on Assets, then you hit Deposit where it says Cosmos Atom, and it will take it from your Cosmos wallet and move it to your Osmo wallet so you can actually use this decentralized exchange. If this confuses you, just know that each one of these chains here are their own sovereign blockchain and Cosmos is the internet of blockchain so they're all connected with one another and IBC allows you to add, deposit, withdraw all of your coins from all the different chains very easily. So all we're doing here is removing our Atom from the Atom chain, the Cosmos chain, to the Osmo chain. Once it's on the Osmo chain, you're gonna to wanna to head over here to where it says trade, and you're gonna probably gonna to wanna to swap Atom for Juno. So to do that, you simply just type in Juno, hit the amount of Atom you wanna swap, depending on how much you have, and then you're gonna hit swap, and then you would confirm the transaction. I'm not gonna do this, because I already have Atom and Juno already. So this is how you buy Juno. It's the only way right now to do it on Osmosis. So once you have the Juno in your wallet here on osmosis you're going to need to move the juno to your juno wallet from your osmo wallet let's go ahead and do that right now to do that we're going to head on over to assets now here in the assets section you can see that i do have 10.17813 juno this is in my osmosis wallet so let's go ahead and hit withdraw and this is going to move it to our juno wallet you can see osmo to juno so let's go ahead and max this out at 10.17813 withdraw that just gonna have to confirm this transaction, so prove that. Okay, the transaction was a success. We now have Juno in our Juno wallet on the Juno network, which is exactly what we need. Now we can head on over to JunoSwap. So this URL is junoswap.com. 
www.decentralizedcoin.com. I'll leave the link down in the description below so you make sure that you are on the right decentralized exchange. So now that we have successfully moved over our Juno from the Osmo chain to the Juno network, you can see it shows up right here, 10.17 Juno coins. We need an equal amount of another coin asset to actually add the liquidity. So to get another asset on here that we have in our Kepler wallet, we can head on over here to the transfer tab on the left side of the screen. Now you can see I do have some Atom in here already, but in order to get any asset on here supported by Kepler, these are the assets supported as you can see. All you need to do is hit deposit, select the amount that you have in your wallet, and then say you wanted to put two in, you would hit transfer, and then all you would do is confirm the transaction. I already have some Atom in here, so I don't need to do this, but for you, you will need to move a second asset over in order to actually provide liquidity. Now that we have two assets to provide the liquidity, let's go on over here to the left side of the screen where it says liquidity. We'll click on that, and we will be adding liquidity to the Juno Atom pool, right? These are all the supported pools. As you can see, it is 0% APR for all of the pools. This is because it is very early to Juno swap. They have not announced the reward percentages yet, and you can't actually bond or stake your LP tokens after you provide liquidity yet like you can on Osmosis to earn those very juicy LP rewards. They will be introducing that feature very soon. For now, all we can do is add liquidity to a pair. So let's select Juno and Adam, and we'll hit add liquidity over here on the left side of the screen. And from here, they make it very simple. All we have to do is hit provide max liquidity, and it will provide the maximum amount of liquidity that is possible with the assets in your wallet. So we'll hit add liquidity, and then all we have to do is confirm this transaction. We'll approve that. And we have now successfully added liquidity to JunoSwap. This is how you do it. It is not too complicated. I understand if it's your first time on IBC, using Cosmos, using Kepler Wallet, navigating all the different sovereign layer one blockchains, it may be a little confusing. But once you do it once, it's very simple. This is how you do it. And also over here on the right side of my screen, it says stake liquidity. It says currently no incentive. Like I said, you cannot stake or bond your LP tokens yet. They will be introducing that feature soon. And this is how you're going to be earning a very high, most likely a very high reward over here on JunoSwap. So be on the lookout for this feature when it does go live. I will be sure to alert you in my free Telegram group. So join that with the link down below. So this was a quick tutorial video on how to use the JunoSwap decentralized exchange. They did already take the snapshot for the raw token, which will be the JunoSwap token. However, the rewards for providing liquidity have not been announced, but I assume they will be quite high, just like Osmosis was very high when it first did go live. So be on the lookout for that. This is how you add liquidity to JunoSwap. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you are new to Crypto Empire and you're not already subscribed, go ahead right now and smash that subscribe button down below and turn on all bell notifications so you don't miss any future videos. And my name is Connor from Crypto Empire and I will see you in the next video.